What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be doing some mucus scrapes under the microscope. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. Make sure you check out those links in the description and make sure you check out our sponsors. We've got Star Fisheries, Jimmy Goldfish and the Aqua Marine Center. So make sure you check those out on our website. As I said in this video, we are going to be doing some mucus scrapes on a koi, similar to a goldfish. If you haven't seen my goldfish version of this video, then please check it out. I'll just put it up there for you to check out. So what we're going to be doing, we are going to be heading off to Maple Koi. We are in Surrey, which is quite close to me, which is quite convenient. We are going to be doing a mucus scrape of a koi so we can show you how to do it. It's going to be very, very similar to a goldfish. We're going to be doing it on small toe size, so similar size to goldfish as well. What we'll do is we'll take the fish out into a bowl, we'll take that sample of mucus and then we can look at it under a microscope and this is the best way to identify if our fish have any parasites and then we know what chemical treatment to use so that we can treat that fish appropriately. Now a lot of people don't have microscopes and they do treat their fish with general cures and different chemicals until they get the right one that kills the parasites basically. But this isn't too good on our fish and similar to humans we don't want to be taking lots of random medications until one of them sorts out our problems and that is the same applies to the fish as well. So I'm going to now head over to Maple Koi, we're going to get in front of the Tosai Pond which is the one year old fish, we're going to bowl a fish up, take a mucus scrape and then find out if it had any parasites. So stick around because it's going to be quite interesting. So now we are at Maple Koi, as you can see, we've got all of our equipment ready. We've got a koi sock, a koi bowl, and a koi net, so we can safely net up the fish. And as you can see, we've got a metal scraper, which, is round, which has a rounded edge, so it won't damage the fish when we take that mucus scrape from them. So now, generally, if you're selecting a fish to scrape, you would generally choose a smaller fish that is easy to handle and you're not gonna cause too much stress to. Also one that is potentially showing some symptoms of flicking, flashing, or any irritation. And um, I will speak about that a little bit more at the end of the video. So here we've got two fish that are going straight into the bowl. One I believe is a shower and the other one looks like a sorogoi. So what we'll do is we will take one of the fish, we will flip it upside down to disorientate it. This will mean the fish doesn't struggle too much and we can safely and comfortably take a scrape. So we just rub down the belly of the fish behind the pectoral fins, under the anal fins, just so we get a nice scrape of mucus sample. As you can hopefully see, it's quite hard to see, but you can see we've got that cloudy mucus sample on the metal scraper here. So now we have gone inside and we are going to put that mucus onto the glass slide and we can put add a little bit of water so it's not too dry. We will then place the cover slip over this, which squashes that mucus layer, which means it's far easier to see any parasites as the mucus isn't too thick to look through. We will then put it onto the stage of the microscope and select the correct or right amount of magnification and then look through the microscope to see if we can find any parasites. Now it's always good to have the lights on because this will make sure that viewing the parasites is much more easier but in this case we didn't find any parasites. A few moments later. So we are back now from Maple Koi. I hope you found that really interesting. As I said, we didn't find any parasites under the microscope, which isn't great for you guys because it means we couldn't see any on the video. But obviously it's good for the fish because it means they're nice, clean, happy and healthy. So that is really good. I didn't mention in the first part, but if you are suspecting your fish has parasites, there are a few different things to look for. One of those is flicking or flashing against the bottom as if the fish is rubbing itself, trying to rub off those parasites. 
Other symptoms include listlessness, sitting in the water column, clamped fins, heavy breathing. These are all symptoms of parasitic infestation. Now, the best thing to do is to check your water quality first to rule out any water quality problems. And if you've done that and the fish is still so showing those signs after a few water changes and tests, then it is likely you've got parasites and using a microscope is definitely the best way to find out what parasite you've got. So I'd like to thank Maple Koi for letting us do that video there. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.